great to have you with us on the cafe. Attention all reality TV lovers. New channel Bravo was launched yesterday to replace TV4. And Real Housewives of Auckland will be screening on it from August. Can't wait. With us now are two of the stars, Gilda Kirkpatrick and Michelle Blanchard. Ladies, you look fantastic, by the way. Thank you for joining us on the cafe. Great to have you here. Thank you. Now, I'm going to start with you, Gilda. Why on earth did you want to do this? <laughs> I do like complications, you know. <laughs> I'm always looking for a headache, so this was a perfect kind of a environment to be in. If you know you're up, but are you ready? Are you it. ready for the country to see your life? Um, I think it's hitting home now. Yes, I think um, it's it's a kind of a interesting feeling to share a little bit of your life with people that you live live with in a society. Mm. So, yeah. Why not? It's going to be entertaining, all right. What about you, Michelle? What made you st decide to get involved? Well, this is a first for New Zealand, so I just wanted to be a part of it. I think it's fantastic, and I love reality TV anyway, so... Really? Yes, I do. Right I up do your watch alley, them Right up my alley. Right, let's have a look at this clip. Hi, I'm Angela Stone. Gilda Kirkpatrick. I'm Julia Sloan. My name is Michelle Blanchard. And Batley Burton. I'm Louise Wallace. I'm in the business of making women over. I'm an ex-model. I have an advertising and marketing agency. I'm an author. And I'm the champagne lady. I'm an absolute A-type personality, bossy boots. And now I'm a housewife. Oh, it looks so good. Okay, a couple of quick questions straight off the back of that. Michelle, have you watched the other Real Housewives franchises? Yes. And do you love them? I do. Nice. I do. Which one's your favourite? Which, which area? Beverly Hills yes. and Atlanta. Okay, and what about you, Gilda? Have you watched the other ones? Yeah, I have binge watched everything basically. And my favorite. Research. Yeah. Research, yeah. <laughs> of course it's research. Uh, I think my favorite one would be New York and Orange County and the, Melbourne. The thing about the real, when I saw the Real Housewives of Auckland, I thought, Real Housewives of Auckland, you should come around to my house, <laughs> sit on the sofa with my mound of washing. <laughs> right. Like, that's what I feel like sometimes that I'm sitting there folding the never ending pile of it. But I guess you guys, this is not going to be part of the show, the never-ending piles of washing, is it? Absolutely not. Mm. <laughs> no. <laughs> reality TV. And t tell me, Gilda, I must ask, you, you're interested in the reality TV thing, aren't you? And how, yes. how people and how society reacts to it. How have you found the filming so far? Um, it, it is a very uh, interesting experience because um, I mean, I'm not used to having cameras around or, you know, record everything and be aware of all my movements. So I find it a bit... Um, Sort of at the beginning, it was a bit, you know, intense. But now I really don't notice it anymore. So it's not as invasive as you imagine it to be. You just sometimes forget that you're mic'd or the cameras are on, yeah, and you say something, yeah. and you're like, "Oops!" Right. Yeah, and that's where the gold yeah. starts, though, really, isn't it? That's when the best yeah. bits come. Yeah. So did you all know each other before you started this, or has it just been sort of meeting while doing the show? Not all of us. I mean, we kind of knew each other before. But and are we going to see fireworks? You know, like we've seen on the other ones. Do you I'll all get well. on? Oh, yeah. Okay. I think, we'll I think well. you'll, you'll see new nuclear uh, explosions. <laughs> oh, <laughs> good. Bad and bombs. More than fireworks. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow, this is, sounding, this is sounding more intriguing by the minute. Yeah. And, how, yeah. and how did your families take it? Um, my, my family's excited. Right. My daughter's excited. My son's like, oh, mum, whatever. <laughs> but, yeah, no, they're excited. My yeah, family, you know, they're all very supportive. My two kids are too young to know it, but the rest were, you know... Very supportive. They usually trust uh, my decisions, so it's OK. <laughs> oh, that's good. Have they had any conversations with you, your children, Michelle, about being on the show or not being on the show? Like, Oh, my daughter definitely did. Mm. As soon as she knew that I was doing it, she goes, am I going to be on it too? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mum? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah, no. Yeah. But your son's not so keen? Son's not so keen, no. Fair enough. He's no. a 14-year-old boy. He's a 14-year-old boy, yeah. Mm. They only grunt at that stage anyway. They do. <laughs> they do. <laughs> not good telly. And grunting. Not good telly. Not good telly. Where is he? Back in front of the PlayStation yeah, again. Absolutely. <laughs> Man cave. Well, I'm fascinated to see how this is going to turn out because you all lead very fascinating lives and I'm sure the country is going to love sitting back and watching it all unfold and the fireworks. But, Gilda, I have, I have a bone to pick with you. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yes. yes. I do. <laughs> fireworks. I want to know why you would like to kill me. Can you do you remember but, this? Yes. Okay, 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 before we go any further, let's just play it for everybody at home. Have a look at yeah. it. <laughs> I just want to kill Mike Poro. Dan Carter, Shag. I wouldn't say Shag, but the one I'd be most likely to want to make love to would be Dan Carter, of course. Mark Key? Max Key. Oh, God, kill. Yeah, no, no, let's kill that. Sorry, Max, kill. Mike Poro, Shag, 
and Mike Peru marry? I know he's gay. <laughs> it's a tough choice. I mean, really. <laughs> oh, thanks, Louise. <laughs> she gave you the default answer then. I know he's gay, but you know. But okay, you're so Anza Gilda. Gilda. What's going on? What's happening? Well, the killing, because it was, you know, either you want to make love with somebody or marry. So to me, killing was like crime of passion. So it wasn't like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> good answer. It wasn't like, I wanted to kill you as because right. you are annoying. It was because, you know, I love you so much. So that I just wanted to <laughs> Oh, I love it. That's such a good answer. She she no, no, I'm pleased to hear to clear that up because I was like, oh, no, she wants to kill me. And, you know, <laughs> no, you want to kill you. He made us make watch love it to me. about yeah. five times. He's like, watch what she said about me. Watch it again. Watch it again. We're like, Mike, we've seen it already. She's on the show. We'll ask him. <laughs> so it was a step further than sex and marriage. It was like, right, you know, okay. Oh, nice. Okay. And Michelle, thank you so much. <laughs> so, in another lifetime. In another I know, lifetime. right? Yeah, you never know. <laughs> um, well, I tell you what, it's going to be fun. Thank you for clearing that up and thanks yes. for coming in. Yeah, so much fun. We're looking us. forward to it. Best of luck. Thank you. I'm looking yeah. forward we to need it. <laughs> I'm hey, looking forward fine. to watching it and I'm looking forward to reading about it and going, I've met them. They're not like that at all. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely wrong. And best of luck for the future. It's going to be really Thank exciting you so times. Much. Yeah. Thank you. It's so great to have Gilda and Michelle in the studio with us and we will see them on Bravo. Make sure you catch Real Housewives of Auckland on the new Bravo channel from August.